Hello, this is Dr. Michael Rothman, and in this video, I want to talk to you about a very controversial subject. It is the subject of medical marijuana. Marijuana, actually the correct term is, is cannabis. Cannabis has been used historically for so many different maladies, dating back for thousands of years. And cannabis was actually used in the United States up until 1937. It was, it was a very commonly used medicine. It was used for many, many, many different maladies. And then in 1937, the Marijuana Tax Act was passed, which made marijuana illegal. And it was declared a dangerous substance with absolutely no medicinal purposes whatsoever. This was really a deception it was never dangerous. Uh, there were a lot of political and economic forces behind this move to take marijuana off the market and to make it illegal. But things have changed now. California was the first state in the United States to make marijuana legal for medicinal purposes. This was in 1996. Since then, other states have followed. There are now 23 states that recognize the medicinal use of marijuana, including New Jersey. And there are a few things that, that are indications for medical marijuana in New Jersey. It's quite restricted here as compared to say California and other states, but New Jersey does recognize the use of cannabis or medical marijuana for the following. Glaucoma, multiple sclerosis, cancer patients, seizure, seizure disorders, uh, severe muscle spasticity and muscle pain, uh, HIV positive patients, any patient with a terminal illness that is suffering from chronic pain, loss of appetite, loss of weight. There's so many benefits to the use of medical marijuana and it is a very, very safe substance. In fact, there is no known lethal dose of cannabis, which makes it one of the safest substances on the planet. In, in some ways, it's safer than Tylenol. Now, you probably never even thought to use medical marijuana, but I'd, I'd like to introduce you to this concept and let you know that there's a lot of really good research that shows its benefits and that it has very few side effects. Um, compared to tr other drugs that are being used to treat things like nausea and pain and seizures and other things. And so there's, there's a lot of benefits here and very few risks. And there's different strains of marijuana out there. You may think, well, I don't want to use this. I'm gonna, it's going to affect my, how I'm thinking. But cannabis is more than just one substance. There's many, many different medicines within the cannabis plant it is the THC, tetrahydrocannabinol, which tends to give the psychotropic effects. And it's, the THC is very important for pain and for other things. There's also something less known called CBD, cannabidiol, which has no psychotropic effects, but has very useful effects on your immune system and for pain and for many, many other indications. So if you never thought about using medical marijuana before, you should rethink this as the entire country, in fact, the entire world is starting to rethink this. There's so many positive effects and very little, minim there's minimal risk involved here. So if you are taking lots of medications to treat various symptoms, you may wanna consider the use of medical marijuana uh, and this may improve your quality of life considerably. I've treated quite a few patients over the last few years with medical marijuana patients with inflammatory bowel disease, seizures, multiple sclerosis. And these patients swear by their medicine. Um, and I've seen people do really, really well using medical marijuana. So if you're interested in this, please call my office, uh, get in touch with me or through my website. I hope this video was helpful for you. Hope you have a great day.